Uh, my name is John Kerr. I'm the Director of Economic Development for the Detroit Wayne County Port Authority and I served in the owner rep role on this project. Well, the Riverwalk is a series of destinations and what we had here before was an empty lot used for uh, storing salt in the winter time, parking a stray car here and there. Uh, we also had the Bates Outfall project which was uh, a smattering of old piles, wooden piles stuck in the river, really disconnecting the east and west river fronts from each other. And what we did was we filled in a gap that was, uh, that was needed, a vacant, functionally obsolete parking lot. And now we have a brand new uh, public dock and terminal capable of receiving any vessel of interest wishing to call on the Port of Detroit. But also, um, it also has some of the best views in town of the city and the Detroit River and the skyline of Windsor. We had some fantastic contractors. Um, companies like NTH were like gold on this project. You need, especially when you're developing a site like this, you need a strong, a geotechnical consultant, civil engineer who can come in, give you a sense of dependability as far as what uh, is unforeseen versus foreseen, who can articulate that to your neighbors who are General Motors, who are the city of Detroit, and can put them at ease in a meeting like that, which NTH did. But we also had fantastic, uh, we had a fantastic general contractor in white construction, brown construction, uh, taking us each step of the way. We had fantastic architect in uh, Hamilton Anderson here locally in Detroit. Um, but there's also partners we had on the project like Manic and Smith Group who helped us in Lansing and, and working with the Michigan Department of Transportation and their whole regulatory side. So we literally had a, a specialized uh, contractor and stakeholder, a specialized partner for every aspect of the project, which is truly why it was successful. I think this is an incredibly important project for the city of Detroit because um, you know, the whole seaway system and all the Great Lakes ports are kind of a barometer to the U.S. economy. We're America's heartland. I think that Detroit is going through a rebirth. Our automobile industry is doing well. This port processes a lot of raw materials for the auto industry and the building industry. So when we see upticks in activity at the port, we also see upticks in the economy. And so this port becomes an essential piece of the continuation of the rebuilding of this city. We're starting at the river and we're working our way in. And there's a group of people in the middle that are working their way towards us. So when we meet at the middle uh, in Detroit, we're going to have a wonderful city. It's already wonderful and it's just going to be that much better. Hi, my name is Charlie Rorty. I'm uh, Vice President with NTH Consultants in our Detroit office, and I was the project manager for the Port Authority project. I've been involved with the project since 2003. The primary stakeholders were General Motors on the upstream end, the Corps of Engineers in the city of Detroit on the downstream end. Uh, also stakeholders were the Water and Sewers Department for the city of Detroit, uh, the Detroit Windsor Passenger Car Tunnel, the Lake Carriers Association, Coast Guard, Homeland Security. The, the permit to install an offshore facility in the Detroit River, downtown Detroit, was initially uh, not well received by the, the Corps of Engineers and the Department of Environmental Quality, but the unique uh, characteristics of this particular location ultimately led to approval of that request. Uh, we're in a shallows area um, and uh, Downstream is uh, an area that of uh, called Chicken Bone Reef, a uh, uh, fishing area uh, important to the DEQ, right in front of the Civic Center. So that forces the navigation channel for the river onto the Canadian side at this location, which gives a little more room to build. Uh, also downstream, uh, the Civic Center, the coffer dams for the Civic Center promenade, uh, those jut out from the river about 15 or 20 feet, and then you have the shallow area in front of General Motors upstream. So there, there really was no occasion where larger vessels would be coming through here anyway. So those, those factors contributed to the, uh, the approval. The other thing is the, the port worked closely with the Corps of Engineers and the, uh, the DEQ to uh, mitigate any potential uh, difficulties, including creation of additional fit, fish habitat and restoration of the shoreline and some other issues. Hi, my name is Jason Edberg. I'm a senior project engineer with NTH working in their Detroit office. Uh, my responsibilities included being the task manager for the design of several components of the project, including the offshore wharf you see behind me, uh, as well as managing several of our subconsultants on the project. One of the, uh, the biggest challenges on this job was the, 
the, the different types of infrastructure that we have going across this site. Uh, standing where I am right now, uh, there's some large uh, cofferdam earth retention structures that are holding back Hart Plaza, Civic Center, and some of the structures here. Uh, farther behind me is a major sewer outfall uh, that required a bridge to be built over it as to not obstruct the outfall. Uh, beyond that was a 100-year-old pile-supported relieving platform or onshore wharf that needed to be rehabilitated and at the same time tied into and uh, made to look um, aesthetically pleasing as the Renaissance Center and GM Promenade behind me.